Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be going over a few changes and updates to my phone system. So, for uh, the phone system previously, PBX Tour 2.0, I was running 3CX for my phone system. And for 1.0, I was also running 3CX, but I didn't have as many phones. Now, for 2.0, I added four new IP phones to the system. And I was still using 3CX, but now I'm using free PBX for my call control system. So my PBX runs 3CX, it's cloud hosted. And I made a few changes on the phones. Sorry if I sound sick, I'm actually am. But yeah, so we're gonna go over some a few changes. So this phone uh still locate it used to be over here. I moved to here. I did a setup change, so yeah, that's where I sit now. And this is basically my office area. So yeah, this is where my computer is, and I'll show you the free PBX. As you can see, this is free PBX, my SIP server. I have some extensions. I have a SIP client here. Micro SIP. And this extension is 310. As you can see, my phone's ringing. I could put on hold. Yeah, I have custom hold music on the system. Um, but I also have intercom, which I'll show you in a bit. But I'm going to call my computer. Currently, I have headphones plugged in, so it's not ringing. Uh, yeah, I can decline it. And voicemail is disabled on the SIP client, so instead of it going to voicemail, it actually just rejects, terminates the call. Also, have paging, so 676 paging. This is a test. Oh. And then uh, I have intercom, so star 80. And uh, I can also page on the phones. I've made a sauce key called paging. You press it. Yeah, it pages the entire house. So enough on the server side. Our phone side of my room. So in the office I have a SIP T31. I'll show you what it looks like. It's working there, and in the master bedroom, I have a Yay Link T 21PE2. I still have this one, um, no dial plan on it, so straight from the factory. I got these refurbished, so intercom key. So if I call 310, it dials it, and the other person has to pick up. If you want to intercom, you press intercom and then dial the extension, it puts a prefix, and if I press send automatically answers. Uh, let's see, how's that paging? The pager works on there, and message. You have no message. It is do not disturb. And on my previous system, the phones were set on auto answer, but now you can just use the intercom. I made some changes to the guest room. So if you're down here, it's not the phone being here, which is kind of weird because the blinds are going to be, you know, shifted. I actually have it wall mounted. I actually just use duct tape. Yeah, this is a dumb design, but... Oh. Yeah, um... It's kind of...
kind of dumb, but I'm using pins. This one's supposed to use the duct tape to keep it upright, but duct tape's not even holding up. But this, this phone also works. The screen's actually a bit dimmer. I think that's a defect on this phone. So I actually went into settings and tried to change it just so I can show you. Yes, I'm using the default password. It's fine because I'm using this on my home network anyway. So backlight, uh, where's the setting? Contrast. Oh. So yeah, you can, actually can't control the backlight. So the backlight's kind of dim. But yeah, you have an intercom in this one too. Paging. And then we also have a new phone installed. Well, not really new, but yeah. And this is where all the phones are hooked up to. The working box. So yeah, so those are all the phones upstairs. We're gonna go downstairs now. So for the living room or downstairs desk. We have a Cisco 7821 running 3PCC firmware, which stands for third party call control. So, how I got this to work with free PBX or 3CX is that I had to buy the 7821 3PCC var variant. If you just bought it, the standard variant, it would only work with Cisco's Unified Communications Manager. But if you buy it with 3PCC, you can use it with any SIP. PBX. So I could dial 314. Uh, I could check that. Now there's a no intercom key or paging button on here, sadly. But for intercom, you'll have to dial star 80. It gives you a different uh, dial tone. 314. Or enter. Automatically enters. Check, check, check. <clears throat> this is a set config on this is phone. You might notice there's why there are wires going outside. Well, I'll show you in a bit. So, got paging. Okay, intercom. And the Cisco supports intercom now, so that's cool. Uh, oh wait, 315? Yeah, except intercom now. So that's nice. So now I'm going to show you, uh, yeah, this is painter's tape. It does not hold very well, but I'm going to show you outside. So, yeah, there's uh, the power cable for this phone is going outside, Ethernet cable is going out, and another Ethernet cable. So I'll show you. So, on the other side, we have. A Polycom VVX. Cool, right? So I have the power. This is kind of a weird setup, but I'll explain in a minute. I'll explain now, actually. So basically, this phone has its own power adapter. And the other phone, the Polycom VVX, doesn't come with the power adapter, so after you, I'm forced to use PoE. So this cable has PoE in it, and it goes straight to the VVX. And the VVX has a switch inside. So I connect it through the Ethernet port, another Ethernet cable to the PC port on the VVX to add another IP phone. So it's like daisy chaining. And that IP phone connects here. But you might be wondering, Martin, why didn't you put the power cable on this side, on inside of the house, and plug it into this outlet? Well, this is a GFCI outlet. Now that, that's pretty good, right? But this thing trips so easily. You could put some, you could plug an appliance in or turn something on, and it goes off. So that's why I have to. And there's another power outlet right here and right here. These two, right? These two are protected with GFCI from this outlet. This outlet isn't GFCI protected. 
but I'm not running cable from there all the way here. There's like a door in between it. It's just gonna look ugly. This one has a smaller footprint. So that's why the cable for the Yaelic phone is all the way out here. It's kind of messy, but well, it works, so. And this phone has auto answer on it, so if I were to dial it, auto answers. Alright, so we have what? We have soft keys. I mean, not soft, line keys. You press one. DSS, it's a direct station selection key. It automatically dials the phone, so you don't need to enter the extension. Just press the button. So, that's pretty nice. And we're gonna go show you some service side things now. Some more service side stuff. So, some of you guys might know something called NPSTN. Uh, let me search up for you guys. Tandem X. So basically, this is a public telephone network for phone collectors and telecommunication enthusiasts, whatever you call it. But yeah, they have their own Discord server, I believe. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. VRR Ryan is there, a bunch of people. But basically, uh, it's a, like a SIP trunk. You can install a SIP trunk that connects to the Tandem X network. You can call other people. Or me. It's just for like uh, p public telephone simulation. So, yeah. It doesn't actually go out to the real world, though, unfortunately, which is sad. But it's pretty cool. Actually, I, I believe you can actually call it from the real world real telephone network it's there like it told it says right here yeah so let's see PSTN access numbers and there are wow well, that's a lot of numbers connected yeah, you can see here these are a bunch of telephone numbers you could call so that's pretty cool I'm going free PBX. So I actually have a SIP trunk hooked up to my phone system. It's inbound only. I'm using a free trial. But if we call it, I'm not going to bother to censor the number since this. I'm probably going to remove this later. But you know, this is just a. I have a trial, free trial, a SIP station. Uh, account connectivity inbound routes. So yeah, let's call it. The keypad here. Okay. Uh, two two three. As you can see here, call that. Here. Welcome to the sound book. Please enter the first three letters of the entry you're looking for. Hello, okay, so K H, Coins Room. Let's see. K H O I S space R O O M. That's correct. If correct. Press one. If in. Okay, so I can show you the number, but it's really. I could put on. Hold. Hold music. I can transfer the call. Let's say guest room. Oh. So there. Yeah, that's feedback, but. Yep. See, transfer works. So, hopefully, you enjoyed this video.
Yeah, this thing is so weird. Okay, I could do it like this. Again. So, thanks for watching my Hope PBX Tour video, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day.